Hi, this is Philip from Xandria and you are watching Loud TV. Enjoy. Yeah, I mean this time we approached the album recordings a little differently because we already went into the studio for uh, songwriting purposes. So we all got together a little earlier in the process than we did on the previous records. And so we had more time to work on the song material together. I mean, nowadays it's pretty easy to send stuff back and forth through the internet and everybody has his versions of, of the songs and has files and, and, and is working on the songs like in the, in, the own, in the own home studio but this time we got together a little earlier than the times before and I think this is something that uh, worked out pretty well for the songs and also the process of um, yeah the whole Album. The album was recorded and um, also uh, produced by Joost Vandenbroek, who worked with us, I think, since uh, 2012. He also worked uh, on the Never Was End record and everything that we did after that, we did uh, together with him. First, only for um, some uh, for, for the for the arrangements of the keyboards and the and the orchestrations, and then he more and more took over uh, production-wise. That is something that was uh, working really, really well for us, and he is just a great a great musician and producer. So we're really happy to have him. Well, I think that um, the reason is that we reached a point in the, the life of the band where all the demands that uh, we felt, whether they came from ourselves or from people from outside the band, like um, management or maybe label or just uh, the promoters who were asking for the possibility to play shows. And it got really, really, yeah, you can say stressful for us to manage this with, um, well, uh, the other parts of our private lives that definitely affected all of us. And, um, well, then, of course, you have always topics in, inside a band where not everybody is necessarily on the same page. So there was definitely some discussions where also the future of the band was, was a topic. And for Diana, it came to a point where she couldn't really um, take that anymore. And when um, she said that she was going to be not going to be able to work with the band for the next six to twelve months, we had to think of something. We had to cancel like 22 shows in total because it just wasn't possible to find find any other solution. And well, then we had approached Diana with the idea of. Uh, Doing some of the, saving some of the shows with uh, a temporarily replacement singer, and um, well, we did that in the years before when it came to Stephen, when it came to Garrett, and it was just for the best for everybody in the band, and we had really um, felt a need to make these shows happen, and so. We decided to do the shows with a temporary replacement singer and um, well, a day after we told Diana that we felt that we needed to take this step, um, she made that uh, statement that probably most people know now from, from Facebook. Eva is a temporary replacement that was always planned as such. Um, some people got that wrong and already thought that she was going to be the new singer. But she has a lot of other projects going on. And um, 
So we're not taking this further until the end of this year for the moment. And also for us, we have, we're pretty busy making these shows happen, um, or to make these shows happen. And so we did not really talk about the future beyond what's um, yeah, starting 2018. We um, would still have to talk about that. And when we come home from this leg of the tour, there will definitely be the time to sit down and, and talk about the future together. It always took us quite a while to find the right to find the right person. And it's, I mean, of course, obviously people focus on the singers um, in probably most of all bands. But for us, it was the same thing when we had to look for a new bass player. It also took us quite a while because you have to find somebody who is willing to spend a lot of time on the road and away from home who can play well enough, of course, obviously. The musicianship and also the, the, the energy, the chemistry has to be right. And then, yeah, the people have to be able to be, be away from home for some time of the year and they have to be crazy enough to really want this. And so it's not easy to find that, all that in, in one person. Uh, back then we, we officially auditioned and we had applications coming in from also from different various different different countries which is always really flattering but of course then on the other hand you have to sit down and there are still people that you have to explain to that you're not done working once you get into into our band because uh, it's not like life is any easier then because you're making tons of money because you just don't really so we all have um, our day jobs besides the band and this is just something that is uh, necessary in in the music world nowadays very good very good they've been very supportive cheers to napalm you guys rock and um, we have a very good relationship with uh, the people there and always very productive, very supportive talks. We really love them. And they're, they're doing good stuff. I mean, there are so many other bands that we toured with so far, which are just awesome. And they're, all, they're also on, uh, on Napalm Records. I mean, yeah, we're happy. They did a lot for us. have plans uh, uh, except that we have uh, a festival in Germany in, uh, confirmed and uh, the Metal Fest in Pilsen for next year um, and of course we need to like get get back we need to get need to get ready um, and of course this starts with a permanent lineup this is something that we need to take care of for sure of course and um, besides that we don't have plans but but wishes I mean we had to cancel a full US tour in this fall and of course we hope that there is a chance that we can make this still happen and also of course the festival shows during the summer that we had to cancel we hope that we get a chance to go back there if not next year then maybe the year after that so this is something that we are hoping for right now but we're not at a stage where we can really plan that kind of stuff. Well, Australia is definitely on the on, on the map and also in our in our minds as one of the few continents that we have actually never been to. I mean, we even covered Africa last year when we played our very first show in, in Tunisia. That was the, f the first show that we did in in, in Africa, and um, yeah. Australia, we never been there. That was, would definitely be, be something. But I'm also happy with anything that's uh, maybe not that far away. And of course, the first thing needs to be to get our shit straight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, get back, get back ready.